Hi, it's Barnes. Just a quick run through. I want to show you how to use video SEO to rank higher in Google search. There are definitely a couple things you can do every single time to every single video to give yourself a big advantage. The first one, step one, is the file. As you bring a file in, you want to make sure, and you see here, we are naming it using the keyword that we're going after that we want to rank for, and we're also making sure hopefully that it's the same title that you've done the research on your keyword for that's going on your blog entry or wherever you're putting the content. So in this case, I chose video SEO. Video SEO is, is what I'm going for to rank uh, for in Google. And so how to use video SEO to rank higher in Google search dot MOV. You want to just be sure to use your title, put dashes in between each word and also make sure that your um, keyword or keywords that you're going for fall towards the front of your title. As you get into the titling here, you see it automatically in the title field. We'll put that in there, but we want to go ahead and take the title without all of the um, dashes. And that's step two. So you want to put that in your title. The file um, naming is very important. That is something you should absolutely do because the Google search engine will pick up on the file name and it's got your keyword in it. That's step two. You want to put your title in there, how to use video SEO to rank higher in Google search. Step three, you want to get into the description. And there's a couple of very important things you can do here in the description. I'm going to go ahead and stick mine in here and then we'll talk about it. The first part is you want to put either a short tail or a long tail URL back to your domain. As you see right here, I chose the long tail version because it's got my keywords in it. Video SEO inside the URL, which is really important and bonus SEO points. I could have gone just with barnescreativestudios.com, just I wouldn't get the SEO value of including that in the description. And then here in the description piece, you want to make sure you use your term, your keyword or keywords two or three times. So as you can see here, video SEO right out the gate. Here's a second video SEO right here. And then there's one more at the bottom. I chose, I, I was able to get three in. And one more thing you could do here at the end is you could add a call to action. You could say, if you enjoyed this video, please use the share button above to share it with your friends. Or you could use a call to action to another URL, to your website, whatever you wanted to do. And then we get into keywords and you wanna use no more than say five to seven keywords because one, there's not as much weight placed on these anymore. And number two, if you use too many, they're just gonna ignore you, basically. So use your five keywords. And in this video, I, cho I chose, let's see, one, two, three, I chose five. So let me stick those in. You wanna do them with commas, but if you just copy and paste your list, they'll do the breakup for you. Video, SEO, obviously, and then Google optimization and tips. So step five, the last step is very important. You wanna add a transcript. So you wanna go through your video and Hopefully you planned your content to where your keyword or keywords shows up in your content several times. That way it'll show up in your transcript. Definitely don't keyword stuff and put your keywords inside your video transcript if they don't exist in the video. You're just asking for trouble. So you want to go in once you've added everything, go to your video and click. Um, the instructions are in the blog. I'm not going to do it because mine is uploading right now, but you'll go in to where it says upload transcript and follow the link on, on my blog that shows you the Google, it takes you to the Google rule page. So you're sure to keep the form exactly as they request it. So your transcript shows up perfectly. And that is searchable and that will add huge SEO bonus to your video. And then if you're embedding the video in a blog post, you wanna write out a text intro using your keyword or keywords and put that right above your video before you go into the embed. So as you can see, that gives you a whole stack of different ways to get a big SEO advantage. And nobody is doing this. I shouldn't say nobody. Barely anybody is taking the time. As you can see, you've got a plan you know, pretty far in advance to get everything in line. But when you do, huge, huge bonus on how to get you know, the most bang for your buck with video SEO so you can rank higher in Google search.